Um, thank you all for coming. I'm here to read an excerpt from my new book, <laughs> The Night People. <laughs> the Night People will be the third and final installment in my Nadenville Nightmare Trilogy. In this section, Anthony Lang uh, hears a noise in the middle of the night, and he worries that it might be the night people. <laughs> Anthony was lying in his bed when he heard a strange noise. What could it be? He thought. Anthony shuddered. I hate the night people. <laughs> he thought, shaking his head. I hate the night people! <laughs> he said aloud to no one. <laughs> Anthony listened to the silence that had now descended upon his darkened bedroom. I suppose I'll close my eyes for another 40 weeks. He thought, if the night people are here, then, well, so be it. I still need my sleep. Anthony paused. Are you here, night people? He said aloud. Hello there. Any night people here? Anthony listened. It didn't sound like there were night people there. <laughs> but then again, he had heard a sound before. And, what if it were one of the night people? He said that last thought aloud. <laughs> Anthony sighed, reaching for the glass of water that sat on the nightstand. He was talking out loud more than he thought he was going to, and naturally, his throat had become a little dry. He took a sip, holding the cool, clear water in his mouth for a moment. Night people? He asked softly. The water spilling from his mouth and dampening his nightshirt. At this point, I'm going to assume you're not here. He said crossly. Would that be safe to assume, night people? Anthony grabbed his pillow and rolled to the far side of the bed. A fresh start, he thought. <laughs> Back to sleep for me. Good night and good riddance to you, night people. But that side of the bed had a slight dip in it, so he rolled back to the right side. When he arrived there, he remembered that now that side was cold with the water that had fallen from his mouth. Anthony rolled back to the left side once again. But there was the dip. And so back, back, back he went. Then back to the right side. Back again to the left. Right. Left. Right. Left how Anthony began to enjoy the rolling. He continued to roll, his brow furrowed with effort, his muscles tightening with athletic precision. If the night people could see me now, Anthony thought proudly. Are you surprised by how well I roll, night people? He cried. And with a forceful push, he rolled right off the bed, knocking over his bedside table, alarm clock lamp and empty water glass. Night, people! Here I go! <laughs> Anthony cried, pushing his body to its very limit, rolling out of his bedroom, down the main stairs, <laughs> taking a right and rolling through the formal dining room, rolling through the open French doors and into the kitchen, rolling through the sunken living room, right up to the open basement door. They must be here, <laughs> Anthony thought. Well, see you down there, night people! 
he yelled brightly, throwing his body down the stairs with gusto, giving himself entirely to the role. As he came to 20 minutes later, Anthony's eyes darted around the inky blackness, searching for any night people. Night people? I'm done with my rolling. Are you here or are you not here? Silence. Anthony waited three hours for a response. Occasionally demanding to know the night people's whereabouts. But if there were night people there, Anthony still did not see them. Thank you.